Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And if you're old, hi bestie. So today we'll be doing this look and we'll be reviewing the Revolution Foundation and the concealers as well. So you guys, if you'd like to see how I achieve the look and my review and my take on the foundations, keep on watching. <music> I'm gonna start with the Revolution Conceal and Fix Mattifying Primer. Oh, it's more like jelly jelly. Wow, I love it. So, guys, I did my eyebrows as you can see, but I did not like um, conceal them or anything like that. I'm going to do that when I'm doing my eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to be prepping my base with this Hello Glow Setting Powder from by e.l.f. And so I'm just using this little powder puff and we are going all around so guys by the way um uh, as you can see it's leaving a little bit of residue all around but don't worry you know trust the process always trust the process when it comes to makeup so next up we're going to be setting our face I'll be using the L'Oreal setting spray and I was about to oh, that's sweet <laughs> I'll be using the Revolution Foundation in shade 14.5. So I'll be going in with this sponge and just put my foundation there. Oh, oh god. Why is it looking like water? Oh my god, I've never used this foundation and it's looking like water. Let me shake. Oh, okay. Let's try this again. Okay, that's better. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with that all over my face. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. okay. I'm thinking this foundation, it's not so bad, but it's not giving me the coverage I need. Like it's written here, full coverage. Or am I reading this wrong? It's medium, stroke, full coverage, and. Girl, I'm not getting that full coverage, so I'm going to go in with another. I'm gonna go in with more of that, and I just took a little bit more and going to see how full of a coverage this is. Oh my god, my eyebrows are just going southwest. This is not even good. Um, but I need to make sure that coverage is full enough for me, like according to my standards. <laughs> So I've never used a um, revolution foundation. No, nope, never. And like all my videos, I've never used revolution foundation. Have I? No, no I don't recall using this. Now, from what I'm seeing here, okay, it's not so bad, but I can see my black spots if you get what I mean like literally I can see them like they're so visible so maybe this is more of a medium coverage I don't think it's a full coverage but I do not really think this is a full coverage so I'm gonna go with this concealer it's in the shade C10 and this one is in C15 and I'm just going to use them so I'm gonna go start with the C10 and we'll put that on our under eye okay so i use this concealer on one of my videos and i like putting my concealer there as well on my under nose here on the inner corner of my eye and on the outer corner and also i need to conceal my eyebrows and i'm gonna do that when i'm doing my eyes of course because girl we did not do the eyes, if you remember. <laughs> and we're just going to put that on my nose as well. Nose, nose. Oops, let me not go too hard because I'm going to spoil everything. And just there, my forehead. And here. So I'm going to go in again with the same Revolution Concealer in the shade C15. And we are going to go with that. On the 
corner of my nose just to make that little bridge yep and I'm going to put that uh, I the concealers are immaculate like love it this is really my first time using um, a revolution and I have never thought that would be this good the C10 as well here Ooh. and I'm gonna go in with a little sponge for my under eye and everything and then the dark parts I'm gonna use another side so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the inner corner so mind you I chose these shades without actually testing um like There was there were some shades that you could test, but then I couldn't find the color I wanted, so I thought of going with something in between. Let's just jinx it and take take it. Hopefully, it will be my shade, and I think it's not bad. Like, cause that under eye has to be bright anyway, so it's not so bad. And also blend here my chin and also go in with my cheeks this sponge as well and just go in um, using the same sponge I was using earlier and just go on the bridge of my nose so for setting our face, we'll be using the Juvia's Place Setting Powder, the sponge I was using. And just dab that all around my under eye. I'm going to do that other side as well. I'm going to go in with the nose, so I'm going to go on the bridge of my nose. So I'm just going to go in and that's it. And then I'm going to set my face again. I'm going to go in with my NYX Can't Stop One Stop Powder and I'm going to try and use uh, this instead and see maybe there will be a difference because I know sometimes when you use these little sponges oh that's way better way better when you use the sponges like the powder sits differently compared to you using a brush okay I'm gonna fix my eyebrows now because I know my eyebrows have been all over the place. For the eye, I've decided to go crazy. I'm gonna be using the Revolution Concealer in the shade C10 lid. So, cause I'm doing this cause I wanna put bright colors and it's only perfect for me to put like a concealer on top. Like it makes much more sense for me to do that. And I already know like what type of what type of eyeshadow I'm using <laughs> with a sponge and just dub all around, blend it out basically. We don't want any harsh lines, you know. I'll be using the Be Perfect Cosmetics Manifest palette. I'll be going in with the purple and yeah i look kind of weird but as i said keep trusting the process you know what i mean even though i'm done i'm not done done so i use this brush and i'm gonna go in with that purple on the outer corner of my eye it's going to be going like that so i'm going to make like a wing kind of thing going on there And guys like if you want to do your eyeshadow after your makeup and like part of your base it's good to use a palette that falls out but doesn't really stick too much like this palette falls out but it doesn't stick a lot I go in with the pink as well and it's called trance oh my god the purple is called Instaglam and the pink is trance so I'm gonna go in with that pink and just put it in between there you know and just 
as you can see like you can see a little bit of shadow going on into the inner corner there as I'm blending whatever is left on the brush is what we're using to get into the inner corner of my eye I'm going to go in with this in the mix 1996 I'm gonna go in with that I'm gonna put in the inner corner so for this one I'm going to be using my finger and just dab in between there so I'm not doing any cut crease or anything like that like go in with this shade as well I'm gonna go in with this shade as well buzzing to have like a chrome effect because I don't like how to it looks like purplish purplish and I don't like it so I'm using the L'Oreal matte eyeliner it's in black and I'm just gonna put that on my under eye so as I say it wasn't a wing because I already have this wing effect thing going on there so I'm just gonna put my eyelashes and then I'll be back so we put our eyelashes and yeah i'm gonna set my face actually i'm gonna set my face with the l'oreal setting spray i'll be using the nip and fab black so this is like top drips of it so i'm just going to put that on my hand okay we get over excited <gasps> And next, I'm going to go in with the Inglot highlighter. That's so why I put the blush basically around there and just go on it. On my nose, so on the bridge of the nose. So I'm going in with the Stila Cosmetic Lip Liner and I'm just going to draw that all around my lip. So I'm just going to draw the lips all around. I'm going to take the Coco Cosmetic Lipstick and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.